Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are comparing OpenWeb UI versus LibreChat, two of the most popular open source chat interfaces in 2025, to help you decide which one's the better fit for you. But before we get started, if you use the link from the description below to create your WISE account, you will be charged no fees on the first thousand that thousand dollars that you transfer using WISE. And with that out of the way, let's dive in. Let's start with Open Web UI first. Now, this is a self-hosted web-based interface that lets you chat with local AI models or APIs using Docker or PIP. It supports OpenAI compatible APIs, GPU acceleration, rag tools, voice and video, markdown rendering, and even user management with granular permissions. It's perfect if you want local performance, privacy, and a multi-device setup, especially if you're running models like Llama or LM Studio on your own machine. The downside, the setup can be a bit complex and some advanced enterprise features like branding or deployment tools may require licensing. Now, on the other hand, we have LibreChat. It's also an open source and web-based and it looks and feels a lot like ChatGPT. It supports multiple AI backends, including OpenAI, Azure, and Olama. LibreChat offers multimodal chat, code execution, conversational branching, image and file handling, RAG plugins, search, and multi-user support. It's enterprise-ready with things like email verification and a customizable UI. Though some users say its interface still has rough edges and it lacks offline capabilities like voice calling. So which one should you pick? So you want to choose Open Web UI if you prioritize privacy, local hosting, and offline performance. You want to choose LibreChat if you want enterprise good flexibility, uh, enterprise grade flexibility, multi LLM support, and advanced tools like Codex execution or multimodal chat. At the end of the day, both are amazing open source options. It just depends on whether you want local control or cloud versatility. So if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more quick guides, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.